And today we're going to talk about how favor comes when you're in the will of God, in the will of God. When you walk in God's will, God's plan, God's purpose for your life, not only will you be favored, you will be highly favored, highly favored. That's a phrase I haven't been using much, even though it's an amazing, amazing verse found in Luke 1 and 28. This is the word that the angel gave to Mary. It says, the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. I love that phrase, highly favored. Here's a woman, Mary, who is called highly favored. She would be brought into the will of God, the plan of God, to bring forth a son. Thou shalt have a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save the world from their sin. And so God incorporates this woman into his plan. You know, God has a plan. God has a purpose in the earth, the kingdom, advancing the kingdom. There's plans for cities, regions, nations, families, individuals. God's plan is for healing, deliverance, prosperity, again, salvation, God's plan is for wisdom, knowledge, understanding. God's plan is that the earth might be filled with the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. The Bible says to be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. So God does have a plan. Unfortunately, there are many people that never seek God's will, they never attempt to walk in God's will. They never obey God. They, they live outside of the will of God. Everyone is not walking and living in God's will. Everyone is not walking and living in God's best or God's purpose for their life. And the scripture says, all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are the called according to his purpose. So you'll find favor when you get in the purpose of God. One of the things that will really cause there to be an explosion of favor in your life is when you seek God's will, when you learn God's will for your life, whether it's in the business realm, whether it's in the marketplace, whether it's in ministry, whether it's for your marriage, your family, of course, living holy, living righteous, living godly is God's will, and God's plan for all of our lives. When you begin to seek God's will, studying his word, learning his word, praying, even fasting to unlock the will of God for your life, discerning God's will, obeying the spirit of God, being led by the spirit of God. They that are led by the spirit of God, they are the children of God. When you begin to do that, you're going to be begin to experience favor. And not only will you be favored, you'll be highly favored by walking in God's will. God's will has to be your priority in life. Uh, Jesus said, not my will, but thy will be done. He prayed a prayer of consecration even before going to the cross. And he said, Lord, remove this cup. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. He submitted himself. It was called the prayer of consecration where he consecrated himself to the will of God even though it was difficult, even though it was hard on the flesh, Jesus did it and gives us a, a picture of what it means to submit to God's will, to be in God's plan. So God finds this young woman by the name of Mary, a virgin, and he, he sends an angel to her and tells her that you're going to have a child without knowing a man. And she said, how can these things be? How can I have a child without knowing a man. And this, the angel tells her that the spirit of God will come upon you. And of course, she conceived being a virgin and brought forth her firstborn son in the plan of God. God's will was to bring the Christ, the Messiah, the deliverer, the redeemer into the earth. He found a woman and he calls her highly favored. So that connects favor with the will of God, favor with the plan of God. Mary is in the center of God's plan. 
and God's purpose for her life. Her cousin Elizabeth also is in the center and plan of God's life. She brings forth the cousin of Jesus, John the Baptist, and he will be a prophet after the spirit of Elijah. So these people experience great favor. They're highly favored. And when you begin to walk in God's plan, God's purpose for your life, when you discover God's plan, when God's plan becomes your purpose, when you seek first the kingdom and all his righteousness, then all these things will be added unto you. You'll get favor from God. You'll have favor with God and with man. There are many people that I believe will die without ever understanding God's purpose. They'll never learn it. They'll never walk in it. They'll never live in it. They'll never experience God's best because they never sought God's purpose. They never desired to walk in God's purpose. They never consecrated themselves to the plan and purpose of God. Those who do, those who do find God's will and walk in it will experience favor. Not only will you experience favor, you will be highly favored. You'll be blessed of the Lord. So I want to encourage you today to, to walk in God's favor, to walk in God's will, to walk in God's plan, and as you do to experience high favor, not just favor, but be highly favored. And I pray for you that you would understand God's will. You'll have a revelation of God's will. You'll understand God's purpose for your life. You'll walk in God's purpose and plan for your life. And as you do, you'll experience undeniable favor. You'll experience ridiculous favor. It will be your portion in this life. I bless you and I speak it over your life today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen.